simple science. What are rocks and soil? Rock is the naturally occurring material that lies beneath all surfaces around us. Sometimes you can see the rock when it is exposed on mountains and cliffs, but more often it is hidden below the surface of fields in the countryside and streets in towns. However, if you dig down deep enough, for example in a quarry, eventually you will reach rock. There are many different sorts of rocks, and each type has different characteristics that can make it useful for particular purposes. For example, slate can be split into thin waterproof sheets so that it can be used on roofs. Marble is also waterproof and comes in a range of colors and can be polished to give it an attractive appearance. So it is used to line surfaces in bathrooms and on bench tops. Granite is very hard and does not wear down easily, so it is used for steps to buildings. And limestone is soft, so it can be cut and shaped easily to make the building blocks of buildings. You can compare the characteristics of rocks by carrying out some tests. Let's do a rubbing test to see how easily different rocks are worn down. If you rub two pieces of sandstone together, sandy particles come away quite easily, because sandstone is very soft. However, two lumps of flint do not produce nearly as many particles, because flint is much harder. Let's put some drops of water on different rocks and see what happens. The water soaks into the sandstone, so it is permeable to water. However, the water stays on the surface of the marble and doesn't soak in, so it is impermeable. Over time, exposed rock can break off and be worn down into smaller stones and pebbles, and eventually into the tiny particles that go to make up different soils. Just as rocks have different characteristics, soils have characteristics that depend on the types of rock they come from. You can use a sieve to separate the different sizes of particles in a soil. The large particles of soil are left behind in the sieve because they are bigger than the holes in the mesh of the sieve. You can also carry out experiments to see how well different soil types will drain water. For example, place a fixed amount of sandy soil and clay soil in two containers with some small holes in the bottom. Now pour a fixed volume of water into each container and see how quickly the water drains through. The water goes through the sandy soil more quickly because the gaps between the particles are bigger than in the clay soil.